If something is not done about the guitar synthesizer pedals, this Death Star is fully operational! Look! Trust your feelings! Look! Trust your feelings! Hello YouTubers! I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Gear. So of course I've been shopping and came across this 3D Death Star. Well, I just couldn't resist. And it was really ex inexpensive. A lot of fun though. Um, lights up the room actually quite well. Okay, now in this episode we are going to be talking about guitar synthesizers. Okay? And one of the reasons is because recently um, Boss has announced the GM800 guitar synthesizer. Now, the GM800 guitar synthesizer is a full-blown MIDI synthesizer. And what I mean by full blown is that it actually um, uses a MIDI pickup that you attach to your guitar and it triggers sounds. Synthesizer sounds. And in my experience um, they have a new pickup, I should say, before I tell you. They have a new pickup coming out with the GM800 called the GK5. Wow. And it's the same deal. You've got to put the pickup on your guitar one millimeter away from the strings. Right? Uh, kind of a pain in the butt to mount. However, one thing that's better is that they have a new serial um, guitar type cable. Okay, it looks like a guitar cable. So, no longer the 13 pin MIDI cable that they used to have. Now, what I can share with you is that I had delved into guitar synthesizers um, a long time ago. I mean, a really long time ago. Gosh. Um, in fact, when they had the GK1 pickup, if you can imagine, and it came with a GM70 MIDI converter. Right, which was a rack mount unit, <laughs> huge, right? It didn't produce any sound, but what it would do is translate the MIDI pickup into MIDI. Unfortunately for me, um, at the time, as a tone module, all I could afford was this crummy Casio, right? Psh, sad, it sounded terrible. I mean, you know those little mini keyboards, you know, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> it's kind of like that. And I think it can only do like four strings at a time or something. Um, and, but the biggest pain in the butt was the uh, mini pickup, you know. Um, getting it on the guitar correctly and keeping it on and things, you know. To this day, they still use this double stick tape. Man, 
I'm sorry, that's sad. You know, in my experience that with a GK1, well, that, you know, that tape wouldn't stay on all that long. Um, however, uh, I guess things have progressed, you know, so that the GK5 is very small in comparison on your guitar, you know, so it's actually maybe usable. Now, if you're going to play guitar and the MIDI, right, you'll still need two cables coming from your guitar. Uh, however, uh, it's a lot smaller, you know, and not as bulky as it used to be. Okay. And the reason I bring this up is because um, there's two different technologies that work here. The GM800, as I mentioned, full-blown MIDI setup, right? In other words, the GM800 doesn't produce any um, guitar sounds. Like your dry guitar signal doesn't even affect the GM800. It doesn't go into it. It doesn't come out of it. Okay? So the GM800, all it does is take in the MIDI information from the pickup mounted on your guitar into the GM800, which then triggers uh, MIDI sounds. Okay? However, those sounds are spectacular. Um, I mean, you can go on, on YouTube. I'm not sure. At the time of this video, it's not even out yet. However, um, there are some people have some advanced units and things. And so we've heard some of the sounds. And they're stereo and they're fantastic. Um, every bit as good as a huge, you know, thousand dollar keyboard basically now so there's some good things and some bad things depending okay now here's the thing there's also technology that doesn't require a MIDI pickup right and that is much simpler in the sense that you plug your guitar cable and it's just like another effect, right? You can run the guitar signal through the unit, you can bypass it and just play your regular guitar or turn it on and immediately you get a synthesizer sound. I mean, that's great. However, uh, it has some limitations as well and of all the guitar synthesizer units like that that don't require a MIDI pickup, right? There are only two that I can think of. I could be wrong. There might be the, um, was it the C4 pedal maybe? So maybe three. Anyway, not very many. Of these pedals that have synthesizer sounds built in, which are stereo. Okay? And we're talking all the Electro Harmonics 9 pedals, the um, Boss SY1 and SY200. Right? Um, and one of the exceptions, one that is stereo, is the Maris Enzo. Those are quite complicated in a way to use. Um, but it is a stereo synthesizer sound. And I'm sorry, it makes a big difference. I mean, you can run a mono synthesizer sound through effects, like a delay or stereo reverb or something like that. But it still doesn't give you the sound of a true stereo synthesizer. Now, 
boss um, did come out with a unit which is now pretty darn dated the boss SY300 right not only was it stereo um, but it didn't require a mini pickup either right which is great however one it wasn't very simple to use at all two it's very dated three I'm sorry but compared to the sound of, for example coming out of the G8, GM 800 right the Boss SY300 pales in comparison you know it's just an older unit now this gives us hope that Boss will come out with a new unit that doesn't require a MIDI pickup and yet still has the same sound quality but they seem to screw people over every single time that if you want the quality sound you've got to use the hex pickup you know the GM or GK pickup whatever it is you know now a while ago they came out with the Boss SY 1000 Okay, and that required the GK3 pickup and it was a very expensive unit um, easily over a thousand dollars not including the pickup and you would think oh well now I can pick one of those up inexpensively because the GM800 is coming out but so far that hasn't been the case in fact I've seen the, the SY1000 right for pretty much a thousand dollars you know all right that hasn't come down at all weak okay anyway so another thing that um, we could discuss here is the the EHX 9 pedals electro harmonics 9 pedals and these have been very very popular pedals because they're so easy to use i mean you basically you plug your guitar in as if it was a reverb pedal or a distortion pedal hit the switch and boom you've got all of a sudden right synthesizer sounds and great tracking that's the other thing you know when i had the guitar synthesizer the gk1 well, the tracking was just lousy, you know. I hope it's improved since then, but I never touched another uh, MIDI setup with a GK pickup ever again. Um, but those HX9 pedals and other pedals that don't require, synth guitar synthesizer pedals that don't require a MIDI pickup, by not requiring the pickup you get really nice tracking with almost no latency whatsoever so this brings up a, a real dilemma in that um oh one thing i should mention with the ehx pedals there's a company i forget what country it is austria or something like that in any case they will modify your EHX-9 pedal uh, to, to have full MIDI control, which is great because then you have instantly, you're instantly able to recall 128 different presets, okay? And since the pedal can create so many different sounds, it's uh, very useful. Okay, now just as an example, this is the EHX Electro Harmonics Synth 9 pedal. And it has the MIDI modification. But basically, you've got nine programs. And it's kind of instantaneous. If you turn it off, right, you just get the, your guitar sound. synthesizer sound okay. and basically 
see there are nine different programs. This is program one. running through um, a delay, a reverb, that kind of thing. So added effects after the pedal. Um, we switch to program two. distortion. You can hear it there. So 
those are the basic types. Now, you can create your own presets, which I've done. Um, starting with preset one. Skip around. Here's the second preset. Here's preset three. Preset where the line six M five swells in um, the keyboard sound, so you get this kind of thing. gives you an idea okay um, I mean there aren't a ton of variations of sounds as you would find on the GM 800 I would assume you know with the, the 
mini pickup, but this doesn't require a pickup. It's kind of immediate, you know, you want a synthesizer sound. Here's a, a real easy way to do it. And uh, with the effects and things, you can overcome the, the fact that it's mono instead of stereo. And it's less expensive than the GM800. However, I do think that the sound quality of the GM800 is superior. There's just no way around that. However, with a modification like that and the pedal, you're in the $400 range. Now this GM800 that they announced, right, is $749. But, there's a caveat, and that is then you have to buy the pickup. That's another $250, right? Plus, what they failed to mention is you have to use their proprietary cable, right? From the pickup to the guitar synthesizer. And that's another 50 bucks. So basically, you're at about $1,050 plus tax, right? Now, luckily, there's easy pay and those kinds of things. But it's still very expensive. However, um, the GM800 is quite powerful, right? I mean, we're talking about, um, it has something like 1,200 different sounds in it, more than that even. And they can be made into patches, which is where it will use four of those sounds together, right? Um, to create a patch and you can create 150 patches on top of that there are built-in effects right not only for the patches in other words the sounds as a group but also individual effects on each tone so the four tones so if you can imagine how many effects we're talking about right and beyond that, it has other features as too. And one of them is guitar to MIDI. Right? MIDI is a musical instrument digital interface. And guitar to MIDI is very interesting because it really turns your guitar into a MIDI guitar where you can basically control virtual instruments, right, from your DAW, your digital audio workstation. In other words, software, right? And not only software, but also hardware modules, you know, little synthesizer modules, and they can be controlled via the guitar, which is pretty cool. Beyond that, it's also an audio interface, but only for the MIDI guitar, okay? In other words, you can plug it right into your computer and record you know, individual tracks. But it's only MIDI. Right? So there's no real guitar, if you like, sounds. Now, that brings up another issue. Okay? Let's say you get the GM800. Right? And you want to use it as just another pedal. Well, you can't do that. Right? This is takes a step of really separating the guitar signal versus the MIDI signal. And if you want to run both at the same time, you need a mixer, right? Let's say you want to run it into a loop or those kinds of things, right? And you want the regular guitar and the MIDI guitar. Well, you'd have to use a mixer as well. So I guess that's an additional cost, if you like. Um, I mean, the possibilities are pretty spectacular. And here's the thing. When you hear the unit, right, there's no question that it is superior in sound quality to all of the uh, pedals that don't use the hex pickup. 
even the Marisenzo, which is stereo, you know. I mean, with the GM800, you can actually trigger what sounds like a real piano, for instance, right, and other instruments as well. Um, so that's the dilemma, I guess. And when you take that step, you're not really playing guitar with a MIDI setup. You know what, you know what I mean? It's, you're controlling it via guitar, but it's not like playing real guitar. Whereas I find these other pedals, which are simpler, that don't require a MIDI pickup, to basically be very guitar friendly and feels like you're playing your guitar. Uh, but the exchange is incredible sound. Um, and I've noticed that on my recording, I just finished, uh, or I'm finishing, I should say, uh, volume 369 album, a new album. And I noticed that um, on the new album, I can play some of it here. I definitely use the synthesizer sounds in a way. Um, here I'll go kind of halfway or whatever. You can hear it here. basically guitar being looped and then some synthesizer parts from the uh, EHX Synth 9 pedal which doesn't require a MIDI pickup so I guess these are my thoughts um, I don't know. Is it worth it? Is it worth a thousand dollars? The hassle of installing the pickup or having a um, you know a guitar tech install it for you. Um, is it worth the money? But not only worth the money, but you know you're really taking a step there towards um, getting away from. I don't know, I think it'd be very interesting, that's for sure, you know. And I'll tell you, from what I've heard, the sounds are super inspiring, you know. Um, now, can you work them into your system, your existing setup? I don't, I don't know. You know, this whole idea of mixing From what I remember a long time ago, as I mentioned, you know, I was just learning to play guitar. Didn't really have any business owning a guitar synthesizer at the time. But um, at the time, I found it very difficult to uh, mix the, the synthesizer sound and regular guitar sound, right? And, and, and have it sound kind of like mixed together in a pleasing way, sound-wise. You know, it always sounded like the synthesizer was something totally separate from the guitar, and they didn't really mesh very well. But that's probably, you know, years and years ago and so I think the fact that I'm using it now some synthesizer things and it's working okay it'd be very interesting to try again um, I know I, and remember you know these these for example the AHX 9 pedals or the Boss SY 200 
right, which is a little synthesizer pedal. Doesn't require a MIDI pickup, but it's only mono, right? And the sounds are decent, but they're just not the same quality as the GM 800, you know. Just pretty powerful. Uh, so anyway, I've, I've been debating that, you know, with friends of mine and wondering if it's worth it, you know, or that kind of thing. Of course, you know, they're going to come out with a, a new system at some point, you know, beyond the GM 800. But that's what's coming out shortly, so pretty exciting, really. Now, does that mean that the SY300 finally gets an upgrade not requiring a GK pickup? You know, maybe. I don't know. So I, I, I'm not sure, you know, how, I mean, how far do you want to take the MIDI? I mean, that's the other thing. You know, for me, what I've noticed is, uh, you know, I don't base entire instrumentals or songs, you know, um, on keyboard parts necessarily. You know, I kind of use them as uh, adding fills and those kinds of things, you know, over a loop guitar. It's basically how I've been using it lately anyway. So anyway, um, this is something I'm I'm wondering about, you know. Uh, of course, one of my friends says, "Well, why don't you just get a synthesizer, right?" <laughs> and so I told him, "Hey, I want to be able to do this live, you know. Um, so." Uh, I can't play guitar and synthesizer at the same time. And I'm much better at playing guitar than I am at a synthesizer. I don't, you know. So that wouldn't work for me at all. And of course, you know, through my phone, he sends me a, a picture of the, you know, the crusty 80s, <laughs> you know, stand-up <laughs> keyboard thing. It's just not very cool. Um, so I don't know if I want to go in that direction or not. You know, it, it would be quite an investment. And I think it would take quite a bit of time to really integrate it well. Not just musically, but physically as well. You know, with a mixer and all these kinds of things. Um, hmm. But it could be very cool, too. And when you consider that, you know, uh, SY200 or EHX Synth 9 pedal is about $250, you know, and that the GM is only $750, and you get quite a bit for your money. I mean, you know, it really can do it quite a bit more <clears throat> more sound better sound quality and those kinds of things well anyway um, and you got you know if the price is really high you have some easy pay that you can you know pay as you play as they say all right well anyway um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments you know what your thoughts are. I mean, is it way overpriced? Is it useful? You know? Or will you feel like you've been ripped off once you try it? You know? Or is the, the MIDI pickup a turn off and just not worth messing with? You know, it kind of limits you to the guitar you'll be playing, I guess unless you bought more than one 
made he pick up, but I get into more and more and more money, you know. Uh, but yeah, and if you haven't heard it, um, definitely go to some of the uh, YouTube uh, demo videos, you know, and see what you can uh, hear, you know, some of the demos, what you think of it. All right, and I'll let you know. I mean, I don't know if I want to do that or not. It'd be kind of fun, but at the same time, yeah. I don't know. All right, uh, very good. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.